Jesus, good night, saints of God. Hallelujah. So tonight, my testimony began with the power of God. Amen. Um, for those of you who don't know, amen, I came from a Hindu background. Amen. For all my family practiced Hinduism. Amen. Even to the point of blood sacrifice. Amen. And this is how it happened to me. It was nothing short of a horror movie. Amen. For everything that happened, it was scary. It started at night. Um, I was probably about 13 or 14 years old. And my cousin stayed over that night. We were watching back to back movies, Hercules and Xena, that period of time. So he left us and he went outside to, to sleep. But me and my father, we just continued watching the movies because we love horror movies. We used to look at horror movies in the morning. Amen. And my cousin left us and we shut the door on him. And all of a sudden we heard him, you know, um, beaten up. We heard him screaming out. But that didn't take him on because we know he liked foolishness. Amen. So when we realized it started to get serious now, that he tried to kick open the door, but the door wasn't being opened, amen. No matter what that he tried, he could not open the door. And he kicked the door open again, and when he kicked the door open, he found my cousin flat on the ground, on the bed, amen, bruises on his head, bruises on his hand. So he asked him, what happened? He said he don't know. He said something just grabbed him from on top of the bed, pull him under the bed, and decided to beat him up under the bed. And we didn't know what to do at that period of time. You know, um, all of our families came together. You know, um, you know, this, this, it was just like a waiting you know, period because we didn't know who to turn to at that period of time. First night, the neighbors came. Amen. Second night, families came. And one night, it was so scary, all of the, all of the ladies were in one room and the dresser began to shake, amen. Just like a horror movie, amen. One of my cousins started to see some red eyes moving around in, in, in one of the rooms. Everybody started to scream out, amen. But after that period of time, everybody parted ways. We could not even live in our own home. So my cousins went their way. Yes. So we left our home, went renting for three years, and they left to go to their home for three years. But that didn't fix the problem. After three years of renting, we wanted to come back home, even because we left Granny home alone, even. So after three years of renting, we came back home. And everything happened, everything started right back over. But this time, there was a difference, amen. Because this time, Pastor Clyde was right next door, amen. And my cousin came over again, like, like usual. He, he spent the night there, amen. And everything started back, like, afresh. So we didn't know what to do, amen. But at that period of time, Prof was the Prof as yet. So, Daddy said, well, let's go and see who, who we can find to help us. So the first person we went to was a Hindu priest. So the Hindu priest come and do his stuff. And he said, well, you know, so and so amount, 5,000, 6,000, right? But when he come and he saw the level of possession, amen, he said, listen, I can't do nothing for you all. Take back your money. Amen. Then we went to Mount St. Benedict. So when, when he wanted to come, what time? Because he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, listen, it takes more than you all to, to take me out of here, amen. He just watched them and laughed. So they had no power whatsoever to take him out. Then we went to Mount St. Benedict, amen. But the priests couldn't come out. They didn't want to see him, amen, because of how bad he was, amen. We got holy water, as they say, but I, when I looked to the back, I said, Daddy, I say that was not holy water, because I see it pouring out from a ton. Amen. And, you know, so we went, we just keep on spending money. We went to uh, our woman, amen. 
in pencil. I can't remember her name, but she said, um, you need five thousand dollars. And she told me I need to bring one of my shoes. And so and so is the case, amen. And then deliverance gonna come. We paid that money and nothing, everything just remained the same and God was. Then we had an aunt that was in church, amen. And she brought her pastors, amen. And they came and they prayed and they, they had a little service and it just made the demons even worse. So nothing, nothing happened. There was no deliverance, there was no change. Amen. And when, when he came back this time, when we came back after that three years, right? This time, Pastor Clyde was there. Prof wasn't fully into ministry yet, but he started to pray. Amen. And at that period of time, we brought him over. And Prof started to pray for him. And his deliverance started right there. And I have never seen this thing in my whole born life as a child, amen, that a demon will be subjected to a man because I came from a Hindu background, amen. And being a child, I have never seen this thing before. So the demon started to say, listen, you know, um, he afraid and he don't want to come out. But when he saw from now, all of a sudden he said, just drop there like this up on the ground. Amen. And every time we pray for him, it will always be a fight that end up the demons just have to leave. It took about two months. Amen. But in the midst of it all, amen, my cousin got delivered. Amen. But before he got delivered, there was one thing I always remember that he did. That he, he so always spoke. This, these demons used to always talk. And he said before he came, he said there was one night, right, that the man of God was praying, and they came, it had a thick patch right here, right here. And he said, he and his partners came down from Togo. He and his partners, amen. And he said he had to see this man of God that was praying in the midst, amen. And he was speaking about our prophets, amen. And, you know, that just showed me how powerful this God was, amen. So I wanted to know who this Jesus was. And this is the very testimony and deliverance that brought me to Jesus. Amen. Now that's what you're your first encounter. Amen, somebody. That was a one first encounter, but she was not fully saved as yet. Amen, somebody. The turning point, the true turning point of her life is when she lost her father. Amen, somebody. And sometimes God carries you through certain battles and tribulations and scars. Many people, every child that God you see that is committed to Christ, have gone through something horrific in their lives. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. The Bible says those that God will love you will chase and he will be with many stripes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Now that young man, that man, he, he would have drunk from one end of the river to the next. That's how possessed he was. In the blink of an eye, he would appear on a, a, a tree that is 50 feet on top of it. And uh, at times, the, the, the cause by every way, they couldn't tell how to reach on top of it. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. At that time, within that first week, amen, somebody, when that young man was introduced to the ministry, that was the first week that the Lord visited me, amen, somebody. And we began to pray, amen, somebody. And when the book is thrown in, and, amen, yeah, when the book it was to we pray every night, all night, amen, somebody. And go away, amen, somebody. Amen. And around that time, the, there were ministers in our church, uh, amen, somebody, that they had no power over the demon spirits. I'm not the demons that have been beating them up. Amen, somebody. It's only the pastor, amen, or apostle, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. I have the authority over the spirits. And I didn't know as yet. Amen, somebody. Until that day that said, Amen, somebody. The family went across and this new one going running behind them. And he used to blow up big, big, big. Amen, somebody. And I in the church and I didn't know what to do. Amen. He would look double sides. He would see white in his eye. And all I could have done is what I saw my father in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's like you're watching a horror movie. It's a slow down motion and there's stuff on the ground. And that's why I knew that, amen, that God had given me the authority to cast out demons. 